Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to receive a purchase order. So in another video, we talked about how to enter a purchase order, how to enter it and how to submit it to the vendor. Now the product's at our loading dock and we need to receive it. Now in other videos, we've shown you how to receive using the advanced warehouse management system. So Acumatic is an advanced warehouse management system that allows you to use a barcode scanner and it's a screen here in Acumatica that allows you to use that scanner to quickly receive. You can do a two-step receive and put away process or simply a put away process, a single step. And you can do it either through the web or you can use a mobile Android handheld. But in this video, we're going to show you how to receive using just a purchase order. You don't have the WMS system, that's fine. You don't need it maybe for lower volume. But here we're gonna show you all the best techniques to be able to receive that purchase order. So the first thing you notice if we open up any one of these purchase orders and we have the merchandise on the loading dock with a packing slip. The packing slip shows us, hopefully, the vendor's name and it also shows the purchase order number. That'll allow us to find the appropriate purchase order and we can bring it up in Acumatica. We can see that no quantities have been received here. And now notice the menu option here is enter PO receipt. That's the next step, the next logical step in getting this product received. We can click this button here. And you notice we turn from a purchase order into a purchase receipt. Now, by default, Acumatica brings everything in that purchase order into this purchase receipt, including the ordered quantities. It's assuming, if we scroll over to the right, that we're going to receive the same quantities that we ordered. But you have the ability to change that. So you can check everything on the loading dock, make modifications to the received quantities. And once you're done confirming it, we see total quantity five. So five units of product are on our loading dock we can then continue to release it. Now notice the checkbox here. This is a setting in Acumatica that allows you to create a bill on the fly. Now, in certain situations, the vendor may send the invoice along with your product. It's very rare. And in most cases, you'll get the bill a few days later. They separate the shipping of the product to you versus the billing of the product for you. So you can turn that setting off by unchecking this box, or you can go into purchase order preferences and turn it off permanently so that it doesn't auto select it to true. Now you'll notice in the purchase order, we also have orders. It shows us the purchase order that this is associated with. But why does Acumatica have a grid potentially showing more than one record? Well, if we delete this purchase receipt, essentially resetting everything we've done, we didn't release it, so nothing is permanent. And first we take a look at our list of purchase orders again. You'll notice these two purchase orders are still open at the same date. The other option in receiving purchase orders, we may have a vendor that shipped us product and it might be across multiple purchase orders. So the other way you can do it, and actually my preference is you go to purchases, you go to new purchase receipt, you select the vendor. Again, uncheck this if we don't have the bill. And now here we can add the purchase orders. So we can see the two purchase orders here. We'll check them. We'll add and close. And now we've been given the ability to receive multiple purchase orders in one purchase receipt. Now, again, if your vendor only sends one purchase order at a time, then you may want to do the first option, which was look up the purchase order and just receive it. But in this case, this gives you a really good option for receiving multiple purchase orders at once. So now what you see are multiple line items and notice even the same items are separated into different purchase orders. The reason for that is if you scroll over to the right, you can see the different purchase order numbers over here. 
So you can associate why they're different quantities on different packing slips. That is to say, assuming the vendor sent you multiple packing slips and there's different PO numbers, you can verify the quantities accordingly. Also notice when we save, going back to the original point, you can see there's multiple purchase orders on this purchase receipt. So before we go through these other tabs, let's go back to the details tab. Let's adjust some of our quantities. So the vendor has shorted us some quantities. So for example, if we go over to the right, maybe we didn't receive all of the five Legos. So we'll change that to three. Maybe the hockey tables are only at five on our dock. And on this other purchase order, maybe we only received one here. So we're receiving partial. You also notice at the bottom of the screen, you can see what your current inventory is for that line. So keep that in mind. If we release this, this will commit this product to inventory. It won't do anything with the accounts payable bill. It won't do anything with the vendor's balance, but it will receive this into inventory into its appropriate location in the warehouse. In this case, it's row one, shelf one. Now, if we move ahead, the put away tab is if you're using the WMS system in Acumatica and we do a two step process, then this is a transfer document that moves it from your receiving location over to your final location. In this case, would be row one, shelf one in the wholesale warehouse. We don't have that, therefore, there's no document here. Move is for our manufacturing system. So once we complete production of an item, this will put the items into stock and it's using the receipt document to do that. We have our history tab here. You'll see information in the billing tab as soon as accounts payable bills roll in. If there's any landed cost documents associated to this purchase receipt, you'll see those here. And then other shows us the inventory reference number in case you wanna take a look at it. This is an inventory transaction document, an inventory receipt transaction document that's automatically created when you release the purchase receipt. Now, you'll notice a few other options in the purchase receipt. We have types here. So we could also do a vendor return. Notice the transfer receipt. We talked about that earlier. You can select a purchase receipt and actually do a return from here. That'll populate all these items with checkboxes and quantities that you can adjust to return back to the vendor. Additionally, from here, we can enter landed costs. So we can create a landed cost transaction. Check out our landed cost YouTube video if you'd like more details on that. We also have a video on the return process as well. And if you print purchase receipts and keep them in the file, you can do that here. Notice the other reports showing the purchase receipt billing history and the purchase receipt allocated and back order history. And by the way, you can get to these reports globally through the purchasing menu. So while this report will show for this particular purchase receipt, you can see all your purchase receipts in their history from the purchasing menu. Now, if we go back to the orders tab and we open up any one of these purchase orders, we want to understand what's happened to the purchase order after we received some quantities. Remember, we didn't receive everything. So let's open up this purchase order 2389. And you could see the purchase order is still open. You could see the quantity on receipts. So this particular line item is completed. And if you scroll over to the right, we have a checkbox for that showing you that completed. Later, if you want to create a filter, you can certainly do that to show, for example, show me all completed lines. So if we wanted to receive the balance, we can do that simply by entering another PL receipt. So let's do that now. And you'll notice we only have one line item and we only have quantity two because our purchase receipt already received quantity one of this line. And as far as the Acer laptop, we received all the quantities there that was completed. So if we uncheck this create bill and we leave this receipt quantity to two, notice this open order quantity. If we adjust this to one, notice Acumatica is telling us on the purchase receipt from this vantage point that there's still gonna be one open on the purchase order. 
So just keep that in mind. That's reflecting that once we're done, there's nothing left on that purchase order. We'll release this. And if we go back to our purchase order, a few things here. The first is notice the status is completed. That's because all quantities have been received against the order quantities. You'll also notice if we scroll over to the right, the completed tab is checked on all of them. If we go into PO history, you'll see that there's two purchase receipts that were responsible for receiving out all the quantities. You can get to them from here. So if you need to see a breakdown, these happen to have the same dates, but it might be helpful to know that we receive some of the quantities of this purchase order on this date and some of the quantities of this purchase order on this date. You can see that here. You'll also notice that in this menu, it's grayed out now because we've already had a completed order. If we close this purchase order, go back to our purchase receipt, our original one, and we open up the other one that we didn't quite receive everything on. Again, notice it's open here. Notice you can see the quantity on receipts, which don't match the ordered quantities. But as I mentioned before, over to the right, we can see that our completed checkbox is only for the first line. That's because we have quantity one for the order and quantity one for the receipts. But let's say we were done with this purchase order. Let's say we wanted to cancel it. We could call up the vendor and say, hey, we're done with this. And we can get a confirmation from the vendor letting us know that they're okay with that. We're not gonna get a mysterious additional few items even though we canceled it. What you can do there is you can go into this menu. Notice you have two options here. Now, you can cancel the order with the vendor if nothing's been received. In this case, we've received some quantities. Keep in mind, whatever you do here, you're gonna wanna make sure you get some sort of written confirmation from the vendor. The last thing you want to do is tell Acumatica that you're done with the remaining quantities of this purchase order, and yet the vendors still send quantities to your loading dock. It's going to be awfully confusing when they can't find a matching purchase order or they find a purchase order that was canceled. So ideally what you want to do is you want to confirm that you spoke to them. You could probably create an activity, create a note here that you talked to XYZ from the vendor and that you've confirmed that you're completing this order. So once again, you can cancel the order if you haven't received anything, but if you're done and you only wanted these quantities so far, you don't need the additional two here and the additional four here, then you can go up here and complete the order. And notice what you see here is the status is now marked completed. So that's a good way for completing a purchase order that you don't want the vendor su to submit. Maybe you got the product elsewhere. Maybe your customer has canceled the order and you can catch this just in time by contacting the vendor and canceling the remainder, or in this case, marking it completed. So that's how to receive a purchase order. You could do it two different ways. You can look up the purchase order and select the enter PO receipt, or you can create a purchase order receipt and add the POs to it. We talked about the different quantity variances and how it leaves the purchase order open. And we talked about what the difference between cancel and complete is. And you'll notice there's an option to reopen the order in case you make a mistake. So thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Please click the like button and subscribe for all the latest videos from Cloud9 ERP solutions. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.